Hey crew, welcome back for another episode. Um, been a few weeks in between uh, recording, so apologies for the delay, but I've just got a bit busy and catching up on some other stuff. So um, not a lot has changed in the last couple of weeks, but today we're about to lay down some more primer again. So as for the actual scooter though, um, hasn't been run for a couple of weeks. So um, and it, when I went to start it, I was having these trouble starting, so I've decided to buy a new carby for it, which is on its way by the post at the moment. See if I've stripped the handlebars off, or we'll started stripping the paint off and rust off of them, just with a wire wheel on the drill, which is sitting up here at the moment. So just that one there. Um, Starting to clean that up, ready for paint. And I've got some new grips, which I ordered from a, I think it was Rogue Customs or Rogue Motorbikes or something like that in Western Australia as well. So a, a brown colored um, replacement grips on their way for once I finish that bar and gotten that ready. Um, but as for today, see, now I've got beautiful blue skies, 20 degrees, nice spring day. So uh, perfect to get back into some painting. So run you through quickly where we're up to um during the week we spent a bit of time just sanding so you might remember in a previous episode it's a little bit cold and i thinned out the primer a bit too much so i had a fair few runs in these panels so i've sanded now sanded out all the runs in them uh, which you can see I had to take it back to the the plastic in a few spots on um, some of them so i've just touched it up with a little bit of uh, plastic primer this morning um, and then essentially what I'm going to be doing on these ones that already have primer it's more of a flow coat than anything else just to make sure that we get a good base for the paint to go on um, and prep this uh, I don't know what you call it front apron front panel as well um, already you can see the discoloration in the plastic so what that is is that's from uh, where I heated it up with a, a heat gun, um, slightly melted the, the plastic a bit. I'm trying to get the black coloration back into it. So but I've decided to paint that and color match that to the, the body as well. So that's just got plastic primer on it now and it's been drying for the last hour or so. Um, so ready to actually put the primer on. So I'll run you over here and show you what we've got product wise. Uh, apologies if the compressor kicks in in a second but first of all before you paint anything you want to make sure it's really clean so wax and grease remover gets everything off of it went over the plastic probably three or four times um, just to make sure it's as clean as i could get it then we put on the, the plastic primer uh, there the 1k plastic primer and that's been drying for the last hour or so also got an aerosol of it um, but i used it out of the gun today um, to prepare the, the plastics, um, use one of these sanding sponges, which I can't remember the grit of this one, but it's, it's labelled fine 3M. I think it was roughly a, a 320 to 400 grit, which I went over all of those plastics with, and that's what I used to sand out the, the runs in the primer as well. Um, and then we've got an actual primer from Body Shop, and that will be mixed four to one, so four parts primer, one part hardener, and probably five to 10% reducer in that as well. So anyway, uh, time to get underway. Uh, this is the gun I'll use again today, um, which is pretty much what I use for everything, but today I'll make sure I've actually got it all uh, ready to go properly. And so we don't have any leaks like we did in the, the previous episode where I was spraying. So uh, without further ado, we'll get into it. Jeez. All right, got the first coat laid down, so um, went on pretty well. I've kept it a little bit drier than I normally would because I was a bit worried about getting runs in it again. So um, I did one really light coat on this one um, and before it flashed off completely, I then just did a slightly heavier coat. So uh, but as you can see, for one and a bit coats, it's got pretty reasonable coverage. Um, you can see here, a couple of scratches I didn't fix up before uh, putting it in primer. Um, not too worried about it. I might fill those in with some body filler later. Again, just one really light coat over all of these, and you can just see through some of the repairs there. Um, 
where it's still showing a little bit of the plastic and plastic primer. Again, real light coat over all of those. Um, we've got pretty good coverage from just that one coat. Um, just to just give you guys a bit of an idea as well, um, some of these panels are pretty light, and so with the air pressure, um, can potentially blow over. So um, ideally, you'd stack something inside of something like this to hold it still, like a paint can, something like that. Um, what I did with that one is actually just gloved up one hand um, and then stuck my hand in there to hold it still so it wouldn't blow over. Um, probably not the, the most professional technique, but it works for me. So um, we'll let those flash off for a little while. Um, I'll check the, the flash off time in a second, but I reckon somewhere around oh, probably 20 minutes or so um, uh, before we give it a, a second coat. And on the second coat, we'll go a, a bit wetter now that we've got some coverage on them, especially on this one, and make sure we get good coverage all over. Um, and, and then we'll probably end up doing just a, a third coat on them as well, but much happier with that result than the last time round. So um, we jump back in once we've got the second or third coat done. Cheers. All right, three coats down, um, I'll show you the end result. And so we did essentially a really dry coat, coat on this one um, to begin with, just to get it to stick properly. And then a couple of wet coats, so I've got three all together on all of them. Uh, you can see here, it needs a bit of body filler uh, where it's got some scratches in the plastic, which I'll fix up before we put the top coat on and just across the, the front of that nose cone as well. There we go, that's the name of it, a nose cone. Um, and it actually goes under the wheel as well, so it's important the paint sticks there and stuff flicks up on it from the, the front wheel. Um, but no runs in this one, which is good. Uh, I've got a little tiny fleck of dust or something. I don't know if it'll pick it up there, just near where my finger is. A little hair or dust or something like that should sand out fine. We won't notice that. Uh, all of these, so lower skirting, um, plastic on that one, and then we've got these three panels here as well. Um, all with good coverage, no runs, nothing, no major imperfections. Again, just a tiny little bit of dust caught up in this one here. If that picks it up, uh, that will sand out as well, so no issues there. Uh, these ones here, all good, uh, no dramas with them, and same as the, the front nose cone, no dramas with that either, so uh, everything's got a good coat of 2K primer on it now, so uh, next up after this will be sanding with probably around a 6 to 800, um, and I'll do it with one of those foam pads again, because what tip for you, those of you who have been using wet and dry sandpaper, which I have for years as well, until picking up these foam pads here. Um, do yourself a favour, get these for any of the sanding around angles and, and things like that. Uh, for all these intricate little panels with curves and things like that, made it about a million times easier and quicker to do. Um, and weren't very expensive, like a dollar or something like that per pad, and they last a fair while. So. Um, we'll definitely be doing that for the, the next round of sanding before we put the top coat on. So, uh, assuming weather goes alright in the next week or two, we should have these all sanded back and, and ready to put a colour coat on. Um, and on the colour, still haven't actually decided about the colour yet, so um, open to people's thoughts, ideas, um, what your colour you reckon I should go. I'm at this stage leaning towards uh, Tiffany blue colour to match that tan brown coloured seat that I've got re-trimmed and the grips I bought from the bars as well which are a, a brown colour too so I thought the, the blue might offset the, the brown nicely um, but really open to ideas um, on that. The thing I do like about Tiffany Blue is I don't need to then worry about clearing it um, either which is a bonus. So um, that's probably covered it for for this week's episode um all being well I'll, I'll get another episode out next week if not the, the week after the latest but for those of you that have joined me for the journey so far thanks heaps um appreciate your your comments and appreciate your your following along and the subscribers so 
please um, feel free if you're new to the channel jump on give us a give us a like give us a comment subscribe um, as we look to to build this channel and build more more content on it because once we get this scooter out of the way uh, next project will probably be the VSU uh, Commodore U that I've got sitting in the shed and it's been there for way too long so um, these here I'll just touch on them while I think about it the plastics um, that go by your feet on the scooter as well and up in front of your legs um, we need to do something with those I'm not 100% sure um, you can see they're they're faded and ugly looking at the moment so um, I'll probably end up doing them in a satin black um, and just paint them with an aerosol or something like that but um, not 100 percent sure so i'll decide that at some point too all right uh, that's enough for today so uh, thanks again and feel free jump in there and give us a comment give us uh, subscribe if you haven't already much appreciated thanks Ta.